age nine, I undertook my first ever acting role as Joseph in the school nativity, a performance described in my end of year report as world weary. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. Why did they describe it as world weary? I, I think perhaps I thought Joseph would be tired after the long journey, long journey with the yeah. donkey and, the, and the finding that, and perhaps I overdid the tiredness <laughs> and didn't get. I didn't get into the wonder, perhaps, yeah. to the extent that... that yes, the but I think acting needed. coaches would, would say, you know, don't, you, you didn't go for the obvious thing of wonder. Yeah. I obviously, I had an instinct for this wonderful doubt that you must have felt. You know, how did yeah. this happen? <laughs> you know, <who> did... <laughs> I don't know whether I understood that at that age. Could you give us, perhaps, as a, as a treat at Christmas, hmm? a little taste of the performance? Yeah. Just, just give us a soupçon. I have some stuff here that could, that could help you. Let's see. You can be the three kings. Oh, lovely. Yeah. OK. Pass them along. There, pass them along. Now then, imagine it was, it was Joseph and Mary arriving. So why don't, Richard, you could be Mary. Thank you, that's very kind. There we are. Would you like to be a shepherd, Sir I'd very much like to be a shepherd. All right, you, you know what to do with it. <laughs> Here's the baby. Now, remember, you've got to hide baby Jesus. He doesn't appear until later in the script. Yeah, yeah well... That's, I think that's, well, I, that's yeah. very I, I, I know exactly where to hide that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that for David? There we are. And then... Tom, would you mind holding the star as well? Yeah. Where my sister? I'll be Father Christmas as the innkeeper. <laughs> All right. You haven't arrived yet. No. Yeah. Okay. What, do you mean in my career? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, that, that's been and gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... <sighs> Just, I've literally just had a text from Sonia at my NCT class, and they've had, they've had the baby. All right, <laughs> look at me still. Richard, yeah. Richard, I think you're getting the period a little bit wrong. <laughs> in those days, no, no, no text, nothing like I've that. Just, I've just seen a star in the sky, and it's Sonia from my NCT group. <laughs> and they've had the baby. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. nice. Boy. Can you stop going on about Sonia? Oh, but it's just, I'm sorry, I know you get on with her, but it's been a long journey. Yeah, but that's because, <laughs> that's because, that's because her husband, Alan, has did, already painted the nursery. <laughs> and certain people haven't. It, it's... <laughs> it speaks back to oh. Holmes under the hammer. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I'm very... <clears throat> you know, I found the whole thing very touching. But... <laughs> I haven't got any lines. <laughs> so, Tom, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, going, to give, I'm going to give you a line. Tom? Uh, oh, be... I've got some here, so I, I know. Oh, all right. right. You've got, got some. Something. <laughs> all right, so get ready. Yeah, so, yeah. the baby's coming. OK. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> and now a shepherd has oh, appeared. It, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I kick off every Christmas morning with a baby <laughs> to the sea of baby. There's our performance. So, are you willing to believe that David was a world-weary Joseph at nine years old? Yes, yeah, definite, definite for me. True. Yeah, he would have been a clever boy at nine years old. They would have asked him to be Joseph because he's got the gift of the gab. And at nine, he did have a beard. <laughs> it was harder for Richard to get the part of Mary because he was that yeah. height at nine. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's impossible for you to get the part of one of the wise men. <laughs> What are you going to say? We will say it is a truth. A truth. You're saying truth. David, truth or lie? <laughs> and it is a lie. Oh. 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 It was a lie. I recently shooed a fox out of the garden by squirting it with water. Five minutes later, I watched in horror as it returned with its brother and ate my plimsoll. <laughs> Please, team. Uh -huh. What do you think? <laughs> I've never heard anything so middle class in all this. I want to picture it. So you're in your house and you see the fox in the garden. Mm. Now, you don't, with the greatest respect, you don't strike me as overly nimble. <laughs> no, I'm not overly nimble. 
nimble, but uh, I'm just nimble uh, enough. Between <laughs> one and ten, how quickly were you in the garden? I went out in the garden at top speed for me, yeah. which I'm afraid is now 6.7. <laughs> You, you come out into the garden, you, you've got the hose, you see yeah. the fox. And he sort of moves away a bit, shows some, a certain degree of, of fear of, of the alpha predator. Yeah. He sees me and he thinks, Do you know, I think I'm safe with this guy. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can't have this. I can't have the fox thinking it's one. If I lose my power to frighten off foxes, what am I? Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I grab, I grab my hose <laughs> and I... You know, Sorry, swizzle some down. water at them. I don't, I don't want to soak the poor creature. Did you put your thumb on the end? So I, I did put my thumb on the end, and I directed some water sort of towards the lawn, just kind of between him and me. Yeah. And that's enough. He's, right. he's off. I bet he went... After he, the fox went off, I bet he went... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot he hadn't turned it off. <laughs> Looked around sheepishly and thought, I better get those pencils. Are you in your pyjamas? I was wearing normal clothes. Well, David, we've got um, a different opinion yeah, of just, what normal clothes yeah, yes, Did, you, mean, <laughs> did you it, was, it was black tie, not white tie. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a nutshell, yeah. you had a fox in your garden, you come out, mm -hmm. water the thing out the garden, then a little while later, it comes back. <laughs> Two of them come Two back. Two of them. Now, yeah. where are you at this point? I'm, I'm in the kitchen, right. noticing they've come back to the garden, thinking, dear, oh, dear. There was deer there as well. <laughs> And then, and then the fox, and then one of the foxes goes and grabs this uh, plimsoll that I keep by the shed. Why? In, for, for walking around the garden. One plimsoll. What? <laughs> no, there's two. I keep two. It's only a suggestion. Why don't you keep the plimsolls near the back door so you don't have to get your feet wet if it's raining? But you're full of home improvement ideas. <laughs> I don't. I don't know because I'm a moron. <laughs> what happens to the plimsoll? Uh, one of them savages this shoe. What's the other one doing? I, I don't know. I don't speak fox. <laughs> if you want to do a proper impression of a fox, I know a woman. <laughs> Providing you're a tad gullible, we'll show you exactly. <laughs> so, go on. So, no, so, so I say, hello, Mr Fox. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate with you. Perhaps you could stop pooing on my lawn. <laughs> right, Lee, what are you thinking? Fundamentally, no Englishman leaves a pair of plimsolls <laughs> as his garden footwear oh. and keeps them by a shed. So you're saying it's... It's a lie. It's a lie? Yeah, I think it's a lie. Well, I'll go with my team, even though I think it's true. Saying it's a lie. OK, David. <laughs> Squirting foxes in the garden. Truth or lie? It is... a lie. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> I thought it was a lie, yeah. <laughs> It is David. <clears throat> As a child, I was scared of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> what, what age? Um, I think this would probably be when I was four, five, six, seven, <laughs> that sort of age. Four, when I was 4,567. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I was still in my infancy as a god. <laughs> what was it about the sun that you found frightening? Uh, it, it was uh, looking at it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you just go out at night or something? You, you, you never went out during the day? No, I, di I did go out during the day, but I, I would uh, sort of obsessively keep my eyes towards the ground. Oh, right. The problem was that someone said, someone used the phrase, if you look at the sun, you will go blind. Funny enough, exactly the same advice for me as well, but it was page three of the sun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you would still go out, but you would, not, you would avoid it anyway. Yeah. And then, it. yeah, and then it, you know, occasionally you sort of turn your head and the sun goes through your vision, yeah. and it can create that slight, you know, when you blink, you can still see. After, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you and, thought that was burning. And I thought, retina. right, well, yeah, what's that? Is that the beginning of, of the, the, the great eternal darkness? Yeah, you know, you really had a happy childhood, didn't <laughs> you? Then, <like? laughs> we were all then on our rally grifters, and you were thinking about the eternal <laughs> darkness. <laughs> Did anything else scare you as a child? Oh yes, yes, most things. <laughs> What else scared you? Well, I, the trouble is that some children are timorous and some children are reckless. Yeah, and so in, Sagittarius. And in order... <laughs> <laughs> but in order to save the lives of reckless children, warnings are calibrated for their safety, which... the result of which is that the timorous live in a state of perpetual, perpetual terror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, 
a great... What I needed to be told is, you know what, most days you won't die, it's fine. You know, <laughs> you know, not... You know, I wasn't ever going to tear across a three-lane motorway. Right. You know, the very existence of a three-lane motorway in the same postcode as me <laughs> made me not want to leave the house. <laughs> And, um, presumably, you would wait for about three weeks before swimming after a meal. <laughs> oh, <absolutely. laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and, and having an ice cream in the afternoon and then thinking, right, well, I should probably not swim for the rest of the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone says, when I was an adult, you don't have to wait at all. Yeah. It's all a myth. You can swim and eat. Did you have... <laughs> While looking into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we thinking? Adam? I, I'm thinking true, true fact. I'm going truth. So you're saying it's the truth? Yeah. Go on, we'll say it's true. You're going to say that it's true. OK. David, truth or lie? It is true. Oh. Oh. It's a hard one to do. <laughs> yes, it's true. As a child, David was scared of the sun. I find it incredibly irritating when other people fiddle with my jigsaws. <laughs> Please, team. <laughs> what was the last jigsaw you did? It was, a, it was a picture of the city centre in Oxford. How many pieces was it? Uh, a thousand. A thousand. What's your um, jigsaw etiquette? Uh, et my, my etiquette? Well, when I say etiquette, I mean if you're doing a big jigsaw, you have to do it on something so that it doesn't upset everybody else's life. So what do you do it on? Uh, my grandfather's coffin. <laughs> Because we've all stopped hoping that he's ever going to come out. <laughs> uh, on a card table. On a card oh, table? Okay. Yeah. On a card table? That's yeah. nearly Ooh. right. And, and you, uh... you start with the outside. <laughs> you, you, do, you do the whole perimeter. Yeah. Where do you go then? Then I go for recognisable objects in the scene. So which particular recognisable bits are you looking for, then? Well, there's a, a, a building in the middle with a sort of dome and a, and a spike. I'm an expert in architecture. <laughs> um, so there was that thing, and there also there was several people wandering around, you know, like someone on a bicycle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's saying, you know, specific... You're looking for specific things. Yeah. A person can go anywhere in the jigsaw. No, yes, they but, can't. But, they can but, only go where they go. I... <laughs> <laughs> you can't... Oh, I put a person... I'm going to put him up there. <laughs> Do a jigsaw lead. Yeah. Do well, you... I don't, Dave, because I've got a life. But carry <laughs> right, on. <yeah. laughs> no, fair enough. No. I was going to say, do, do you use scissors? Because that's, <laughs> that's a, you know I'm not. That's a scissors. <laughs> so generally, a thousand-piece jigsaw. You're coming back to it now and again. Yeah. Work commitments permitting. How long does it take? Let's say. Three months. OK, three All months? All right, let's what? say it. Three months. Three months? <laughs> three months? It's a thousand-piece jigsaw, yeah. 333 pieces a month. Excessive. So he's doing about 90 pieces a week. So he's doing about 15 pieces a day, right? Mm -hmm. 15 pieces a day is borderline... You need help. <laughs> I don't need help, and I don't like it when people <laughs> help. <laughs> that's, well, that's, the point. Point. that's the point. That's the point. So, Lee, what's it going to be? Alex? Well, if he was into jigsaws properly and he didn't want a fiddler, you put clink film on it. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're even weirder than me. Cling film sort of stick to the pieces, and then so when you pick the cling no. film up, it would sort of undo what you do weeks right? and months of work. No, that's horrible. Because you it? buy a massive tray, yeah, you do it on the tray. Not only can you carry it around if you need to dust, yeah. but also the cling film wraps underneath. <laughs> You've watched far too many features on the one show, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> this week we're talking about tricks for jigsaws. <laughs> You probably think it's just the four corners you have to know, but no, get your cling film ready, we'll tell you after this. <laughs> John, do you think it's. Well, I can see, I think David's the, a contemplative type of person, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and jigsaw puzzles. Uh, Kind of allow you yeah, that loose space to be uh, room, you know, mm. to be a ruminative. It takes you to a ruminative place that you wouldn't otherwise uh, enter in the normal <laughs> run of events. But just to clarify, is it true or false? Yeah. <laughs> true. 
<laughs> go, 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 true. OK. You're going to say true. OK, David, truth or lie? It is true. Oh. Oh. One of the codes I live my life by. <laughs> Always a good start. <laughs> is that my appearance should be in no way noteworthy. But then again, not so unnoteworthy as to be in itself noteworthy. <laughs> what do you think? Well, if it is true, you're certainly carrying it off. <laughs> <laughs> when did you decide on this code? It didn't happen suddenly. It just, you know... It sort of developed. The way I felt comfortable being yeah. sort of gradually formed into the, the philosophy, and I don't think that's too grandiose a term, that, I've, <laughs> that I have read off a card for you today. I would say, you're, since you've got a beard, yeah. you have become more noteworthy. The answer to that is I've enjoyed growing a beard. But you're right, because I've grown a beard, some people have said, oh, I see you've grown a beard, or he's got a beard, look at his beard. And I hate Can those I just moments. put you up on the point? I deeply hate <laughs> those moments of being physically noticed. <laughs> have, you re have you really enjoyed growing a beard? Well, no, well, that's what's so odd. I mean, I haven't, like, hugely enjoyed it. It's not no. been, like, a brilliant roller coaster. <laughs> but, but it's just very, very slightly I've enjoyed it, and very slightly also I've had a sense of achievement. Of course, it's, it is no achievement. It's actually a failure in personal hygiene. <laughs> but, but it feels like an achievement. But you, did, you surely went through the difficult, itchy stage. I did go through this. No one enjoys the, that? No. no I, I call them my teens. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you make these rules about the, everything? Uh, are the underpants you're wearing unnoteworthy enough to be on... To, you know what I'm saying, are they? No, no I, I don't think... Sorry, I, let's start again. Are you wearing underwear? <laughs> uh, yes. OK. And I don't want to sound too sexy, but yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to sound too sexy, but no. Oh. Under my underwear, I'm naked. Oh. <laughs> David, I yeah. want to know not what you consider noteworthy, I want to know what you consider so unnoteworthy that it becomes noteworthy. A grey tie. If you were in a suit, and like you're in a suit-wearing scenario, yes. and you wore a grey tie, that would be so unnoteworthy as to be in itself noteworthy. So a grey tie... It could be so colourless, so not wanting to draw the eye, it would draw the eye. It's how you spot spies, isn't it? People who are just trying, trying to... to blend in so much, they blend it in so much they're noticeable. It's true. Isn't like it? a chameleon. If there was a chameleon in here, yeah. it would stand out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if there was a comedian in here, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's a worrying round of applause on the subject of our <laughs> Is it true or is it a lie? Make your decision. I think it's true. I think it's very plausible that David would uh, be like that, yeah. OK. Yeah, I think it's true. True. I'll yep. go in my team true, and true, say true. true. All saying true. David, truth <laughs> or lie? Yes, well, of course it's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's David. I once hired a jet ski for... Ha-ha! <laughs> Lie. <forget. laughs> we need to hear no more, David. <laughs> I once hired a jet ski, but couldn't work out how to stop it, so had to buzz around the bay for 50 minutes until it ran out of petrol. <laughs> I take it back. I, yeah. You did. I can <laughs> so imagine you doing that. Please, Absolutely. Please. So where was this? It was in Antigua. In Antigua. It's... Was this in your boy single lads days? He never had those days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's your first time on the show, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Why no, it were you in Antigua on holiday? Was the Winchester Steam Museum shut? <laughs> <laughs> Why yes, yes I, I, I arrived at the Winchester Steam Museum and it was shut, and so I went straight to Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> when was and, this? Uh, I think about two years ago. And um, who were you with? My uh, wife. And what got into your head? I could imagine you renting a sun lounger and opening up uh, a weighty tome. I, I could imagine that. But I can't see you saying, now you relax here, I'm just going to go... <laughs> ..and bomb around the bay for a while. <laughs> Were you with your wife on the jet skis, or did she stay on the on dry land? Uh, she stayed on dry land. So you were on your own going round. Yeah, you yeah. were with other people. And just it was you. your idea. I just, I look. I thought I'd have a bit of a go. What were you wearing, David? Uh, uh, sort of swimming shorts. What length were the shorts? 
Were they sort of Daniel Craig? <laughs> or uh... they, they weren't as long as Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> What do you wear? Like shorts. I said swimming shorts. They've got a pocket. Wow. They've got a pocket. <laughs> they've got a pocket and they've got netting on the inside <laughs> to keep everything in order. <laughs> All right. Then. You jump on, you're looking back at your wife. Ah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm not like, ah, look at me at all, because I must say, as soon as I get going, it becomes immediately apparent to me that I don't like it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, here's a big question, then. Mm. You did it until the petrol ran out, did you say? Yeah. So, did you manage to time perfectly that the petrol had run out just as you got to back to the jetty? No. So you were stuck now in the middle of the sea? Yeah. I didn't... What I didn't do is head straight out away from the <laughs> coast. <laughs> the point where my plan... <laughs> formed, I thought, I'll just go up and down quite near the jetty, thinking I'll, I'll be able to swim to the jetty if the worst comes to the worst. So what I happened then? You just it. kept going, kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. Yeah. Talk us through. Well, I kept going, I kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. <laughs> <laughs> and All right. Lee, what are you going to say? What do we think? I... You have a great physique. <laughs> You've got to warn me before you say things like this. <laughs> a great physique for what? For maybe, I don't know, a game of billiards <laughs> or Cluedo. Yeah. And I don't quite think that jet skiing is completely your thing. I agree. <laughs> I don't even think he has ever been to Antigua. <laughs> So you're saying lie, you're saying lie. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie? I'll go with the team. David, truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh. <laughs> it's David. Once a week, I love to eat a full English breakfast, but can only do so if I'm entirely stripped to the waist. <laughs> <laughs> Lee's team, what do you think? Mm. Once a week, you say? Yeah. Any particular day of the week? I, at the weekend, usually a Saturday or a Sunday. Do you know what the weekend is, David? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you cook it, mate? Do you yeah. cook it in that state of undress? Or do you get undressed once it's cooked? I, 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 get, I get undressed once it's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, only, only... I mean, it's, it's, there's a limit to the amount of undressing required. I mean, I, I take my top off. <laughs> Boxers or...? No, it's... it's I think it's I, waist up, I think I, it's I, waist I, up. That's the... Yes. Waist up, yes. It would be odd if he, if he had a breakfast... <laughs> From the waist down, he stripped naked. <laughs> that would be odd if you went round to his house and said, thank yeah. you, David, for the sausage and beans. We're not done yet. Yeah. Oh. No, that's... Get them off. Yeah. <laughs> and none of you are going to ask why. I am about to ask. Oh, good. <laughs> what on God's earth function does taking your top off play in this breakfast? In many ways, I've, I've lost a lot of self-respect. You have. <laughs> over the years, and sometimes I like to wallow in that. In that case, we think it's true. <laughs> I do find there's a certain amount of splatter involved in, in the eating of a, of a full Is this English. getting sexual? <laughs> N not from my body. <laughs> Is this on your own, or would someone join you? I was more usually on my own. But <laughs> I, I would. Would you like someone to join you? I don't think so. Really. I'm not offering. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I ask you a question, Gabby? Do you like a fried breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> but, David, is, is this? I'm gone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is this for? Practical reasons, it, it, as you say, oh, just yeah. to stop the splashing, yeah. or is it a lovely sense of liberation? Yeah. I think it's partly practical, partly, yes, of course, you feel closer to nature. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you thinking, Lee? What are you going to say? Is he telling the truth here? Christy, what do you think? Do you eat with your clothes on? I do, I do. You don't strip off for any reason to do with eating? No, not really. Do you think he does? Having got to know David during the course of this evening, <laughs> I rather suspect he does. <laughs> uh, Diane, do you...? Do I? No, I do not. No, no I'm... I'm oh, I was going to say, do you believe it? <laughs> I was going to say, do you believe it? I wasn't I taking 
taking the opportunity to go, do you have fry? I'm sure to come round my house. Will you take the top off? I wasn't going to say that. No, I was thinking it. I was absolutely <laughs> thinking that. I've never said it out loud, but now you've brought it up. <laughs> do you want to come round on Sunday? <laughs> I've got burnt out potato waffles. <laughs> Is, is telling the truth, or do I, you...? I think he's telling the truth. I, I think David, David's a well-brought-up, educated chap. Yes, He'd never no, do he anything never. quite so stupid. Dad, yeah, it, but so it's not true. Tie. It's not true. I'm, I'm, I'm on lie now. Yeah. OK, we have to go with lie, then. You're going to say lie. David, truth or lie? Please don't be true. It is a lie. Thank you. Gosh, thank you. I once got stuck in a cave for an hour after getting the hood of my cagoule caught... <laughs> on a stalactite in a way I couldn't untwizzle. <laughs> right, caves and stalactites. Lee, Max, team. Well, the bit that we definitely believe about, about that story is cagoule. Cagoule. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doubting cagoule. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Red? And when in the last three weeks did this happen? <laughs> This happened uh, when I was uh, a, a boy, a child, a human child. A boy child? child. A boy child. <laughs> what cave was it? Uh, it was somewhere in France. Oh, holiday? Yes. Deliberate ploy by parents to get rid of you? <laughs> Give him the baggy cagoule and find a stalactite, <laughs> then run. You were, in, you were in there for an hour? Yeah, I was, I was caught on the, on the stalactite. For an hour? For an hour, Just yeah. Just remember, I mean, again, stalactites go down, right? Stalactites hang down. Hang down. Stalactites, stalactites might go up. And the easy way to remember it yeah. is that stalactites have a C in them, stalactite. C for ceiling. Yeah. Stalagmites have a G. G for ground. No, it's the stalactites come down, isn't it? Tates, tates, come tates, down. tates go up as well. Not, no, they don't. Not when I'm around. Not when I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> How did you eventually escape? My uh, dad came and released me. So you're with your family on, on this trip? Well, they were sort of... It took them an hour, hour? to find you. <laughs> I would have thought, if I'd have lost you and you'd have been my child, it would have been six or seven days. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what are you thinking, Lee? Could this be true? Mm. What do you think? I'm going to go for a lie. You think it's a lie? Mm. Bob? Lie for me, Lee. Lie. Lie. David? It's a lie. Oh. Yes. Yeah.